We want to solve this system by substitution. That means we need to get in one of our equations, one of our variables by itself. It looks like getting y isolated in the first equation will be the fewest steps. So to get y by itself, I might add y to both sides and subtract 7. So I have 2x minus 7 equals y. Now I can use that to replace y in my second equation. So that I have 3x, but then 2 times, and instead of y, I'm going to have 2x minus 7. And that will equal 0. So now I have one equation with one variable that I can solve. So I have 3x. Multiplying this out, I get 4x minus 14 equals 0. And so this gives me 3x and 4x is 7x, adding four, or minus 14. And I can add 14 to the other side. And finally, divide by 7 to see that x is going to equal 2. Once I have x, I can substitute it into either of the original equations to find y. Since y is already solved for here, I can substitute it in to the equation I solved for to have y equals 2 times 2, because x equals 2, minus 7. So y equals 4 minus 7, or plus a negative 7 would mean y equals negative 3. So our solution is x equals 2, y equals negative 3, or as an ordered pair, that would be the ordered pair 2, negative 3.